Arab officials are set to meet to discuss whether Syria will make a return to the Arab League. 17 Iranian detainees have been released in Qatar. Eid excitement is drumming up and here are three concerts you don't want to miss. And finally, could Qatar Sports Investment soon own Spanish football club Malaga? Stick around to find out. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A number of Arab foreign ministers will head to Jeddah this Friday to discuss the possibility of Syria's return to the Arab League. Speaking at a weekly press briefing on Tuesday, Qatar's foreign ministry spokesperson Dr. Majid Al-Ansari said officials from the GCC and Jordan, Iraq and Egypt will be in attendance. While Qatar will be attending the Jeddah meeting, the official reiterated Doha's unwavering stance against the Assad regime, noting that the reasons for freezing Syria's membership in the Arab League still exist. Now, Iran's ambassador to Qatar, Hamid Degani, has announced that 17 Iranians who were arrested for accidentally entering Qatari waters have been released. The men were detained in Qatar, but no details on the timing of their arrest or the duration of their detention has been made public. The 17 men and their boats are now en route back to Iran, the diplomat said. Now, Eid al-Fitr is just over a week away and the excitement is building like never before. Qatar Live has announced three nights packed with musical goodness this Eid. Egyptian superstar Tamar Husni is all set to perform at, at QNCC on April 22nd with tickets now on sale. Najwa Karam and Marwan Al Khori will be taking the stage on the 24th and Qatar's own Fahd Al Kubaisi will join Balqis and Hams the following day. And finally, PSG owners Qatar Sports Investment are considering a move to Spanish second tier side Malaga. Malaga currently sits rock bottom of the second division, six points adrift of safety. This comes after a takeover by Abdullah Al Thani led the club to the semi finals of the UEFA Champions League before a shocking spiral down the Spanish division. Divisions. Now, reports say QSI is reportedly waiting on the current owner to pay his remaining dues in court before making a move to buy the club. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.